Hi, my beautiful Libras. How are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is your official weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that the roles could be reversed between you and your person, meaning that this could be you or them. Switch it around the best way it resonates with your life. With that said, these are all general, meaning that not everything is going to resonate for everybody. If it's not for you, the simple thing is to let it go. With that said, let's move on for Libra's reading. Please and thank you for giving me the best and most accurate cards for my beautiful Libras. Thank you so much. So we have the Sun in Reverse, the Two of Swords, the Five of Swords in the Reverse. So we have Leo, Gemini, and Libra. We have uh, the King of Swords, which is Libra energy as well. We also have the Page of Cups in Reverse, Pisces energy. We got the Ace of Cups right here, which is in the Reverse, which is uh, Cancer, Scorpio energy as well. We have the Three of Pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo. We have the Lovers, which is Gemini energy. And overall energy here, let's see what is our overall energy. We got the Queen of Wands, Leo Aries energy at the bottom. We also got, again, air energy four of swords so let's see what's going on let me move this here so um it seems to be that something could be quite stuck um this could be a situation or this could be also a feeling there is disappointment energies um i wouldn't say completely sadness maybe some of you are sad but it's most likely disappointment some of you could feel a little bit stuck not only in love this could be in life um a little bit confused in where to go what's the next step um some of you have been waiting for changes somebody has been waiting for not only a comeback but also when it comes to general life it seems to be that somebody has been waiting for a kind of a change this could be anything to be honest and somehow it's like when is things are gonna get better kind of question you know with the five of swords in the reverse and the king of swords it seems to be that uh, some of you might be over the challenges some of you might be over um the the tests right if you have been going through a lot of obstacles and tests some of you are completely over it it seems to be that um some of you as well are leaving the victim energy of course i'm not calling you guys a victim but this is the way it's called victim energy is when we uh, accuse everybody for our misfortune is when we are unable to take uh, accountability of our actions you know and it feels that you guys are done having that kind of energies and you guys are stepping into the king of swords which is acknowledging taking control taking your power back and you know hands on on anything that's coming towards you or pretty much working 10 times more with more confidence into whatever it is that you guys want now with the picture cups and the ace of cups in the reverse it seems to be that you have been creating your own reality it seems to be that this could be this could be a water sign this could be anybody but it's pointing out to a water sign and when things did not go anywhere it seems to be that this person did not offer you what you wanted or expected long story short you decided to create your own reality you started rebuilding your life in any way shape, or form this could be single life or this could be just rebuilding your life with somebody new but it seems to be that it's still that energy of the lovers here the lovers is a number six number six is um sometimes it changes i forgot what it means i had it in my head but i saw my son and i forgot but anyways look up at number six and the spiritual meaning as like i said before some people get mad at me but hey i'm not google so you can google it up right but anyways um look up at number six in the spiritual meaning and also number six in the tarot what does it mean because it'll tell you like numerology wise going back to the reading it tells me right here that still that is this energy that's floating that is not just the center how you feel but it's still floating and you are pretty much like you know moving forward in your way to perform but at the same time there's like a question of like why is this person or why was this person in my life like it still feels like you feel their energy of course this is not for all of you if you feel this part is not for you just let it go like i said before i know i say this too much but if you guys seeing that toddlers that tend to comment like i call them toddlers because these are people who do not understand what a general reading is so I always try to be the kindergarten uh, teacher and be like this is what it is so going back to this for those who don't understand no it's not for all of you but for those some of you are feeling like hmm, I just do wonder because it's still lingering in your energies right 
with the four of swords right here uh, i feel like look at that you are in this back and forth of like should i let it go should i take some action or should i let it go is it going to happen so like i said before it's still like in on the size of energy let's see what else what else for libra we got the moon pisces energy the five of cups in the reverse the five of wands leo sagittarius three of wands aries oh thank you spirit the hermit in reverse virgo thank you spirit the world aquarius taurus and overall we got the six of pentacles which is earth this is very strong capricorn i also see libra of course this is you and again earth sign right here it's it's all about <clears throat> It's all about, I feel like this, uh, whenever you see this reading, um, you guys are going to be having transformation in your life. This is also uh, people from the past coming in. Also, uh, past not only past lovers, but also past friendships, like people that you haven't talked to in a while, reaching out to you. Um, also, whatever it is that you were doubting or wondering about specific someone, the truth about that situation is coming to light. So coming towards here, somebody that has been in the dark, somebody who has been, you know, quiet and you haven't been able to reach out this could be somebody that we can call the ghoster it's done they're done uh feeling like the victim like i said before they're done drowning their pain in alcohol they're done you know being quite not only only the runner and the chaser because some people don't understand that but hey everybody needs a book going back to this it's not the runner and the chaser it's more about the person who is avoiding things i want to call it like that somebody who is avoiding things and just drowning in alcohol and you know mundane things just to not think about something but they're not working on it they're just finding hobbies to avoid but it's not avoiding anything you know what i'm trying to say so going back to this this person is overwhelmed they are overwhelmed by whatever they hold back it seems to be that you're this person hold back a lot they hold back a lot of information they hold back a lot of emotions and they're actually not only regretful but it's like they're overwhelmed by that and it's like you know what they're like i'm tired of living like this i'm tired of feeling like this i need to reach out i need to tell the truth i need to say something keep in mind that just because they're saying something does not mean that you have to take them back does not mean that you're going to date them but they need to get something out of their chest if you're so over this individual you don't need to get to give me a reality check i know who i am i know what i'm saying this the only thing you need to do is close that door and move on quietly like an adult that is how you are that's how you know you are healed that's how you know you can move on you understand that because you don't need to prove a point now they feel too overwhelmed they feel too too like they're sick of it they're sick of feeling like that so they're like you know what i'm coming towards libra to tell them exactly how i how i feel or how i felt or what is it that i didn't say or do back then why because they've been holding on to that specific feeling of what i should have done but i didn't do and they don't want to live like that anymore and that's why they're coming forward now with the three of ones right here, you are seeing somebody that is a long distance. This person seems to be quite far away. This could be for work. This could be for vacation, whatever it is. It is a recent shift. You can actually have some communication. Some of you, it could be around three weeks after this video. Others of you, it means that this person is going to take around three weeks to plan something to then reach out of course we got the oracle time frame we're going to figure it out but for some of you which means not all of you okay that's what that means will actually experience this communication or this popping back into your energies in a way you perform within three weeks also some of you within three weeks from you watching this video you're going to see a bird you're going to see a lot of butterflies if i don't know uh, i don't know what a square means for some of you other civil you're gonna see a lot of 333 i don't know what but i see 3 a.m and 3 p.m being extremely important for some of you okay so moving forward this person is out of long distance okay this person seems to be a traveler so your person either or travels a lot this could be because of work like i said before or you know pleasure other of you this person also they can't it's like not it's not like they can't keep a job it's like they don't want to keep a job they like to move around like hopping around they like to hop around or this person could be a taxi driver an uber driver um 
I don't know, fisherman, like something like that. Um, I don't know exactly what they do for a living, but because I get, I'm not talking to one Libra, I'm talking to multiple Libras here. Going back to this, this person likes change. It's like they get tired, they get bored. This person is a very immature energy. This person lacks of wanting to settle down. They say they want to settle down, but the fact is that this person, maybe they like drama. Maybe they're so toxic or they have been in a toxic household that they like drama to keep it up like, oh, it's fun. Everything is going right. So your person, again, they could be like that or they're afraid of security. Why they're afraid of security? Because if you see this person right here, they have a lot of traumas, a lot of things that they don't want to admit to themselves. So they're saying, you know what? I'd rather not have anything settled down because what if I settle down and then I lose it? Those are mechanisms that people use that people who do that, I'm not saying that, oh my goodness, like I'm saying that this is what they do it. That's it. That's what the cards are for. So I can tell you what's good because if you knew, you can knock on their door, which you can't or won't do it. Long story short, the fact is that they lack of that sense and when they have it, they get fearful of losing it so they rather just not have any sense of security it's like i'd rather leave them before they leave me um moving forward this person around that time they're going to be reaching out they're planning others of you this person can move back to whatever it is that you guys could live or this could be popping in because of summer but long story short this person has been watching you on social media and they're done watching you they're done watching you um others of you might say oh i don't have social media so give yourself a round of applause it's not for you but for those who know that have social media again and we have seen this in a lot of libra videos somebody is spying on you this could be a lover this could be a friend as well but somebody's definitely watching watching your move okay from a fake account not their account fake account for those who can resonate with that so now with the world and the six of pentacles it's telling me right here that a lot has not changed in them a lot has not changed in their life why because they refuse change they refuse to work on it it's easy to say oh my goodness i would like change oh my goodness i would like this but the fact that we got to put in the work the fact that for change we have sometimes to let go of things is something that is not easy for everybody so they again for those who may wonder, they have not changed a lot or something in their life has not changed a lot. They also have some um, legal issues as well, just for you to know. No, they're not going to ask you for money. I'm just telling you that they have legal issues. The Hierophant Taurus Energy. Okay. So recently, this person has issues with their home, okay? Uh, it seems to be that they, can, they are getting evicted or it's getting very hard for them to pay the rent. Strength. This is making them feel like, like poop, okay? Strength in reverse, Leo energy. This also ha uh, helps the little confidence that they have to grow, which is not a good help. So your person um, is also from a very religious household, it seems to be. And they could be uh, the son or daughter of a single mom. And I feel like they're very close to their family. And it's hard for them to let them go. So they're very close with family, it seems to be. And they actually, this could also be an issue as well, that they are so close to their family that they haven't gotten the adult life that they could have because they feel bad for their family it seems to be that they grew up in a family uh, situation that they're always reminded of all the sacrifices their parents did for them so this person feels like they owe a lot like it's like i can't live my parents like that so that's why they also hop and hop from jobs because they haven't had the sense of security because since day one they feel like a stranger in their own home it's like they feel like a tenant even in their in their family's home you know so this is one of the things that they're going through what else, Spirit? What else? Thank you, Spirit. The Nine of Swords. Reverse. And the Eight of Swords. They knew damn well that they were not the person you thought they were. I feel like they were wearing a mask. They were presenting themselves as somebody that they were not. So um, at the time that you guys met or you guys, whatever you want to call this, um, this person you could have actually thought like oh my god this person has everything together like you know they could have their home like you knew little to nothing about this 
actual reality this person is a very not only childish person but they're very fearful they're afraid they're afraid they're afraid and you you will ask me michelle why are they afraid you know life is freaking scary life is freaking scary the rent it's scary the everything is scary babe everything is scary but your person has this energy of like they feeling trapped they feel like they can't do more so we're dealing with somebody who is drowning in their own glass you know in their own cup of water so this is the kind of person who is so focused in the problem that they cannot see the solution so the minute that they understood that the minute that they would let if they let you in you were going to find out a lot and they felt that you were going to get disappointed does not mean that you were going to they thought oh libra is going to get disappointed the minute they know who i really am so that's why they they will let you in and then they will stop you they will they will try but they were too fearful of your judgment overall libra you are the scale you know and that's why they chose to not give you this offer, okay? Two of Cups. They pretended, for some of you, that they were not as into you. is because they wanted to, in a way, disappoint you so you would drown from them. Um, I don't know why. And this is something that I can't understand. I, I know that not everybody's going to understand because you have to be in their shoes. Again, I'm not applauding what they did. So don't put words in my mouth, in my mouth, okay? Um, what I'm trying to say here is that they, they're somehow, their result, they are the result of something toxic that they have in their life. A past person, family, okay? So the fact is that whenever they have something good they un, un, unless thinking about oh my god i have something good let me work on it they think about how can everything go wrong and how much problems and how much trouble and what would i do when i don't have it so they spoil things before even trying them they spoil things before even giving a chance so they pretended that they didn't like you as much they pushed you away 100 percent they kept coming back because it was not really what they wanted that was the mechanism that they knew that they did just to push you away of course a lot of you have a lot of reasons a lot of reasons to dislike this person i know that a lot of you have have a lot of parts that you go no you're wrong like i said before this is not for everybody this is for a specific person if you want something specifically for you get a personal reading like i say if then if the reading has no specific name it's for whoever wants and understands that this is for them if it's not you like i said before you can try to be rude i'll handle your comment and i'll make it very famous so you know i'm a queen honey but anyways that's what they did that's what they did. But the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse right here. Hold on. Now, I'm back. As I said it, they pushed you away purposely, okay? They didn't want you to know the life they had. They didn't want you to be disappointed. Queen of Swords because they felt this is your energy Libra that you had a lot of expectations and they knew at the time or they felt they knew at the time that you were going to be disappointed because oh yeah they did lie and a lot of things but it was because they were afraid of your judgment because in the past people has judged them judged them you know so are you any different Libra are you any different because this is my question for you babe a lot of you seen my videos right and you know i tell the truth always I like i said you believe it or not you're a personal problem I'm not gonna try to convince you but whenever i talk about this right and i tell you exactly how they feel da da da, da then i there's a lot of people who judge how they feel so what makes you think that they don't feel that energy to coming from you and then you wonder why they don't come towards you if you don't have an open mind, then don't ask or do not manifest anybody because expectations are going to lead you to disappointment. Okay? So, 
always have an open mind. Why do I come in in the middle of my readings? Because I like to educate people. If you don't like this kind of readings, I'm sorry, like I said before, I'm not gonna change. I've been 28, I'm 28, being 28 years like this, not gonna change, babe. Not gonna change. And I know people be like, oh, so defensive. Is my personality? My personality is not for sale. So I'm a nice person. It's just that people can't handle the truth. They want the truth that they want to hear. Nah, -uh. no, mamacita rica, no va a pasar así. So, anyways, going back to this. So, why are you telling me all of this, Spirit? Please, what is the purpose of all this information? Thank you, Spirit. Because the universe wants you to know that this connection is salvage, salvaged, or salv. I don't know how you say it. Let me think about it. Hold on. I found the word, but I couldn't pronounce it. So I'm going to say it differently. This connection can be saved. This connection can be saved. That is why the universe is telling you this. Because that's why all the time or sometimes it says that it's not over. Because it's not like, oh my goodness, you're going to get married tomorrow, babe. No. It's more about, yes. Oh my goodness. I forgot how it goes. Oh, there we go. Um, it could be worked, workable. It could be saved. Because before you say no or before the door closes, they want to show something to you. This person, like I said before, they're coming from afar. I see a long distance relationship or person. They live far away from you. I see tropical weather over and over and over. This could be because of the summer, of course. It could be where, where you live that there's no winter. But I, tr I do see a, a, a beach. I do see like volcanoes around. This could be Hawaii or something. I'm not sure there, but I see tropical weather. Like I said before, they're not stuck anymore. They had a lot in their play when it comes to like livelihood and all that. So whenever they come around, um, this could be text message. Like, like I said before, uh, they had a lot that they were holding back that they have to say. It's like they, they have a lot to say. A lot to say. And the fact is that the magician of reverse, this is air signs. They know you think they're a trickster. They know you think you don't that they are lying to you. They know that. They know that. It's not like they're stupid. They know that, you know. And they also know that all this trying it can lead to little to nothing. But before they let go, if that is what you want them to do, they just need to get stuff off their chest. They, again, they are done living on this energy of the Nine of Swords. It's like stress, anxiety, uh, not only sadness, but it's like when you have to live with yourself, like I said millions of times with other zodiacs as well, that you ruin the best thing in your life. And they know that they could have been with you right now. They know that you guys could have been a lot, like a power couple. You guys could have been so happy. But they choose what they chose. They chose fear. They chose to push you away because instead of communicating, they decided to make those assumptions. Your person is not the best communicator. They're very hard to communicate. It's very hard to understand them. It's like they do not know how to communicate properly with the person they love or like and that is something that needs to be worked on and we all know that but that is what your person is you cannot expect to have a person and change them you cannot expect that people are going to change overnight sometimes people take years to change and if you see that you're with somebody and that change never happens you cannot blame anybody but your personal choices into staying because if it's your life like a lot of people say why is always other people's fault for what you've done or not done people can hurt you libra people can ask for forgiveness just because somebody hurts you doesn't mean that you have to hurt them back that's a choice just because somebody asks you to forgive them doesn't mean you have to because you have the right to say and do as you wish so with this says is that is happening so we can have some sort of closure because aren't you tired of like wondering aren't you tired of saying oh i know but you really don't know because we know you don't know because you think you know but you don't know aren't you tired of that so 
is happening very very soon and i know some of you be like oh some other tarot readings you have not changed your vibration you have not changed your way of thinking that's your that's your fault like i said before we are all in the same ocean some people will drown in that ocean some people will be swimming to the other side why it's all about determination and before people tell me oh this is i talk in metaphors if you can't speak with metaphors that's not my fault now this is going to happen on a random day when this communication happens i don't know where boop, they're going to reach out to you and you're going to be very surprised somebody who is low-key sorry low-key overwhelmed so expect like it could be just one message that's very very long and you're like oh my goodness if you have deleted their number and if you have blocked them it's 2022 babe you can have multiple apps download it and call you and text you so whatever happens is going to come from an unknown number and or a fake account okay and if you tell me oh that you have the balls they don't have none they don't have them have you heard what i just said they they, they are scared so what, what do you think this is disney disney plus that people will change in the second episode with a with a change of hairstyle with a change of outfit no baby no they're gonna try their best they're actually coming forward with something important and as little as it may seem for some of you this takes a lot of courage at least that's how they feel because they are the worst at communicating with other people they have not even bothered to talk because that's who they are and with you you are different again you don't have to take them back you don't have to be happy for their comeback you can clearly block deny close the door like it doesn't bother you if you don't want them but hey don't judge without knowing the full story as I said, Judgment Day. So this is like, for them, it's like going to court, presenting themselves with all this information and all this evidence. It's pretty much stripped naked with all the information and in their head, letting you decide. They know the truth, they know how they feel. At the end of the day, it's up to you, Libra, to say, yeah, I believe them, they're telling the truth or not. But Judgment Day, and I've been seeing this on Libra for a minute, Judgment Day is coming for those who are ready for this, okay? If you're not ready for this, if you say that you don't want them, if you complain about all the tarot readers, again, then you're not going to experience this because this is going to happen for the Libras who believe in the universe and if you don't believe in the universe don't look at me i'm not gonna try to convince you i'm not gonna let you throw trash at the reading because honey boo the, where do you see a recycle bin here nah -uh, right so what i'm telling you is for those who are ready soon you will experience the judgment day which are the ones who have been going through the awakening listening to the tarot readings and accepting the changes The four of swords this could be other oh, of you um late at night this text message and you won't be able to sleep because you're gonna be very shocked and it's gonna bring some some emotions and that's when you're gonna be a little bit confused and like is this for real should i let go are they gonna play me is this worth it all those questions are popping in your energies as soon as they say hello. What is this person's purpose in reaching out to Libra? What do they want to achieve though? So low key. I heard and I'm gonna say as I heard it they want to pay you back okay they feel they owe you they feel they owe you this you have not asked for it you have not they know that they know you're independent Libra but they feel that they owe you that okay they had 
understand that you are independent you haven't even looked their way you haven't even bothered them but they feel this is the least they could do for you because you deserve to know the truth and of course most of you are going to have an apology they feel that you deserve that and with the fool right here the others of you this could be the beginning of a risky chapter with this individual not for all of you but of course this is one of their intentions as well is to see if they could still do something or go with some somewhere with you they are going to tell you that rejecting the cup or your cup was the biggest mistake of their life and the biggest burden to carry they couldn't face themselves knowing that they rejected your cup they have tried with the two of pentacles to make peace with themselves make peace with the outcome of things but they can't look three of swords they know that you could be out there with a heartbreak or with that experience and they don't want that and when the seven of ones right here they want to stand up for the first time in their life or in a long time and they want to own to their mistakes like i said before they're done with this five of cups like i said we've seen this somebody who's tired they do understand also that your cup was valuable all the opportunities they have been encountering is not like you and they feel that they have lost the valuable one because they were afraid because they were childish you name it all of that childish behaviors goes with fear afraid of something afraid of something but the fact is that people don't just sit and wait and that was one of the hardest lessons for them to learn that just because you don't want it does not mean that libra's gonna sit there like a good girl or a good boy so losing you was their biggest mistake judgment day and i swear libra i don't know why they never thought that you were going to leave they never thought they could lose you completely but they did they fooled themselves the sun in reverse they came back too late for some of you you guys were meant to be the lovers here you guys were meant to be babes you guys were meant to be everything was set for happening but your person screwed it up and now they are on the stage that you were when you met them you know when you met them how you felt and when the rejection or when pushing you away happened that is what they are right now instead of being you are in their position right now unbothered now they're the one understanding and like awakening they can't let go of how they reacted they can't let go on the fact that they hurt you so they feel that this they owe you something <coughs> But the five of swords i see that they look at your picture and they also are, are very happy of your improvements the tower it seems to be that they're going to be in a better mental space because they were having mental issues as well and they're done hiding the fact that they want happiness and you are their happiness so somebody's rushing in somebody literally is rushing in it's like in the very have you seen the movies when people just go to the partner when they're in the airport <laughs> trying to stop them that's how i see them because they know they very much they messed up they messed up like i said before they know they messed up because of their pride, because of their stubbornness, the star, they didn't realize you were their dream come true. And now they're coming. We got the Emperor energy, Capricorn energy as well. They're done with that wishy washy energy. This person is coming in rushing. It's like trying to fix something. I don't know if it's fixable. What is the outcome for Libra? Or what is the last message final message for libra they want you to know to be ready to um expect the unexpected you tend to be very organized 
Libras tend to think that they have the last word. But you're going to be speechless with this, okay? This is a mix of emotions here, what I'm seeing here. I'm going to tell you why, babe. Oh my God. Because you thought this was over. You thought this was said and done. You have never seen your person or this person on this kind of energies. Um, you came into a conclusion that they couldn't change. You never thought like they were ever coming. You're like, you know what? I've never seen them try. I don't see why they would do that now. So a lot of doubt in your energies. But you are going to be facing something very unexpected. Something that you low-key thought it was never going to happen. With the Queen of Wands right here. Um, it's going to take you... Um, by surprise because yes you are amazing Libra but you are very guarded up very aggressive over any thought of like second chances or so so whenever this happens it's going to happen uh very uh, unexpected so your guard is going to be low so you can actually act with your heart not only with your brain and your anger um you're going to feel a little bit like back and forth because this person was somebody that was very important to you back then and your energies haven't forgotten and now this person is presenting themselves as somebody totally different somebody who is telling you exactly what you thought before like all the things that they messed up they're gonna tell you you knew but they're gonna tell you and it's like a different a different light on them with the ten of pentacles right here um let me clarify that. Can we clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, please? They're actually, they're going to tell you that they still like you and that they want something with you. And pretty much they're going to wait for an answer. That's what it's getting me because we got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Tool wants to clarify that one. So, pretty much the balls are in your court. And the third party that it was is over. Justice Libra energy. And you, it's like pretty much you are going to be the the Jerry of this. Like, it's a very important decision. You need to wait what waits more. Like I said before, you need to be fair. No bias, fair when you come to this decision. Because it's a decision that is final. You need to look at within because whenever they show up, you're going to judge them for how they look or for how they were. And you need to listen to that little voice within you. Look within the outside. Listen with your heart. Listen with your intuition. Maybe get some divine help, you know, but don't don't judge them for what they've done in the past. The same way you wouldn't like to be judged for the things you've done in the past because I can assure you, Libra, you're not the person you were in the past. The same thing happens with them. Now, with this said, does not mean that you have to take them back. If you feel in your heart that it's done, you're good. Nobody's gonna try. Nobody's gonna judge you. It's your life, who cares, right? But do not judge somebody the way you would, the same way you don't want to be judged. That's when we call people out and say, you need to be the bigger person. If you don't want to be the bigger person, that's good. But don't be asking for the same treatment when you can't do it yourself. Now, this is like a bittersweet, a bittersweet victory. This is a very important intention that could lead to victory. But this is a sacrifice. There is, I heard a sacrifice needs to be done. Have you ever heard this song from, uh, they, they're a very old band, uh, it's Tattoo, T-A-T-U, and they have a song called Sacrifice, and the song goes, I will sacrifice, I will, I don't know the lyrics completely, but you can find it on YouTube, it's uh, Sacrifice by Tattoo, again, the band, the band is T-A-T-U, Sacrifice, that song. Again, if you go, I don't want to sacrifice, then boom, move along. You're getting in the way. So for those who can or want, think about it because it's a sacrifice that you need 
that you will go through. Let's put it like that. That you're going to go through. So, like, that's going to break and end those chains, whatever that is. Like I said before, I don't give the readings you want to hear. I give the readings you need to hear. Because that is my purpose in life. If you don't believe it, I want to sleep just the same way. So now, I'm going to give you what kind of feelings or emotions are in this reading. So we have judgmental. <laughs> we got resentful and insecure. So judgmental says, it displays a lack of self-love when you judge others. Their story is unique and so is yours. Embrace the differences and see the value in others. Did I just, just tell you that? I love when spirit just confirms everything I say. I got a hair here that's bugging me. Ugh, cut it. Insecure. It's okay to celebrate others' successes, beauty, and imperfections. You have no idea what they struggle with, too. Told you that, too, in the beginning. Resentful. Such a heavy emotion carried upon you daily. Resentment eats at your thoughts and the positive emotions you want to feel. Again, told you so. Um, now we're going to move with a time frame oracle. Let's see. Keep in mind that this is general and this is an estimate. So, of course, not everybody's going to experience this. So, for some of you. So, at the bottom, eight months. Close your eyes. Feel what you want. Approximately three months. You are experiencing fear with the thought of change. Eliminate the fear and the time frame is within half a year. It's better to give this more time to come. Time frame is undetermined right now. So, those are the possibilities for you. Now we're going to move forward to give you guys the possible initials of this person. This could be the first, last, or middle name. Keep in mind that not all the letters are going to belong to your person. We got VS and Victor, ZS and Zebra, L's and Leo, TS and Tyler, H's and Hamburger, GS and George, X, X, Xavier, PS and Patrick, CS and Cat, AS and Apple, F as and Frank at the bottom, and W as and Walter. So those are also the possible possibility or possible initials of this so-called person. Now, before I go, babes, I'm gonna give you a message from the unicorns oracle. So oh, oops, oops. Let's see what they have to say. At the bottom, receive. Be open to receive goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you very soon. Awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. And last one, patience. It says, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play with play. while you wait sorry it's just very tiny letters so thank you guys so much for your love and support this is the end of your reading please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to win a free reading make sure to subscribe to my channel as every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers i host this giveaway there's a video up telling you what to do and how to participate if you want to so make sure to go find it again i most likely show you my social medias if you did please make sure to follow them if um you follow me on instagram i always follow you back i also have a tiktok so if you do like you know tiktok and all that i have it so um with that said i'm open for personal readings but i gotta remind you guys that i'm going to reach out to everybody who to that request an appointment if you guys don't reply to me before the day of your appointment i'm going to automatically cancel it as that is part of the policy if you guys read it before requesting it another thing guys i do not work the weekend so i do not respond to any tarot inquiries on the weekends as i said it on the website with that said guys have an amazing day thank you so much for the love and support again you guys are amazing and i'll see you guys soon bye